It is the dry season of the semi-arid areas. Northern Uganda is where I'm farming from. And when you look in my background here, this side, it is all drying up. The grass is showing it is really the dry season which has started. And whenever it is the dry season in the semi-arid areas where I'm farming from, farmers tend to leave their animals to walk freely. They don't tie their animals. So you find the goats, the sheep, the cows, they make a lot of destruction to those who farm in the dry season. So for today's video, I have some goat dung in my palm here. This is purely goat dung. You can see the broken pieces here. It's goat dung, not coffee beans, as you can see. So we are going to use this goat dung, and we see how we can uh, reduce the disturbances, the destruction that goats cause to us when we are farming in the dry season. We are going to control these pests called the goats. For today, we are handling goats. When I get um, another remedy to stop the chicken, to stop the sheep, I'll still be back. But we are handling goats. On my right hand side here, I have some potatoes, which we have grown here. And these potatoes still, the goats have been coming, picking, picking some of the leaves. They have been eating some of the leaves. But today, in today's video, I'm going to show you how we are going to control the stubbornness and we see how we shall move on and we mix this dung here. Let me take you to the mixing center and we see how we shall control the destruction which the goats they cause to us. What are we going to do? We are right here. Right here, I have um, 10 kilograms of goats dung in the basin here. There are 10 kilograms of goat's dung. I told you in one of my videos that when the basin is full up to here, when the basin is full up to here and you don't heap it, it will give you 20 kilograms. Half of it will give you 10 kilograms. So these are 10 kilograms of goat's dung here. And we are going to use this goat's dung to see what we can do for these goats. You see the destruction they had caused earlier? Until yesterday but one, I poured some of the mixture I had made and a stubborn one came and first tested here then it started sneezing I said uh -huh. today this goat is saying what I've tested is not nice so I said now I think I can share it with other farmers who are determined to farm in the same arid areas like me so we are not going to waste any time what are we going to do we shall need uh, 10 kilograms which I've already shown you here then we shall need a polythene bag like this and we are going to pack this dung in the polythene inside here. You'll put all the 10 kilograms. I'm only showing you what you're going to do. So after putting your 10 kilograms, you're going to add 10 liters of water. I have a jerry can here. It is 10 liters. So pour water. We pour our water, 10 liters of water in 10 kilograms of the dung. So we shall do the mixing. I'm not going to finish everything in the bag because this is just an illustration of what you're going to do at your farm. I'm also at my farm. So we go ahead and mix. Why are we using a bag like this? We use a bag like this because it's a bit rough in nature. So goat's dung being uh, a bit hard, when we are mixing with our mingling stick like this, this bag will help us to squeeze this, um, these coffee, uh, these beans, this dung of the goats like this, until when they break into smaller, smaller particles. So every day you'll be coming, you make your mixture like this, you mix inside here, like this mix inside here like this every day for at least 30 minutes every day and you're going to do this for five complete days then we shall cover on our mixture after covering on our mixture on the fifth day you'll come and get your mixture when it is smelly and broken into smaller smaller particles let me show you the one i made for myself I made for myself something like this it is right here when you see it 
it has some particles down yes mine has stayed a bit longer more than five days but still I, I started using it on the 50th day so the particles are almost all gone but on the 50th day it will be properly smelly the goats will come and try to test on your food like what I've shown you here the greedy one of course will come and test but after testing the smell that comes out of these things let me pour for you and i show you what i did i just came on my banana and did like this and did like this so two days ago after i had put this thing i've managed to get at least a young banana leaf coming out but earlier there was nothing that could grow you can see from down they have eaten they have eaten all over here yes i have a fence when you look at this side of fence but the young goats, the kids of the goats, they kneel down and use space like this one. The kids of the goats, they use space like this one and they go through. So I say to them, no, let me look for the dung and I mix. And it worked for me. I said they can share this with my viewers. So I've done the same thing with my apple tree. The other side, I have an apple tree. The apple tree, I've done the same thing. And it is indeed working very well. Here. It's an apple tree. You can see the leaves of the apple tree. They are all dirty. They are all shabby. But it has worked and it has helped. These are the leaves of the apples. I also farm apples here in the semi arid area and I'm taking care of it. I've given it the charcoal dust such that I can maintain the moisture in the soil. And it's looking healthy. And I've done the same thing because earlier. The goats came still and they ate all the leaves up to up there. I said, now let me do this. So I did this three days ago and I've seen it is indeed working. I said, no, let me share this with my viewers such that we can keep farming. If you haven't subscribed to my channel for today's video, please do it. Because Christine has the cheapest, the easiest, the quickest and best method is anybody can use and farm and have food on the table. So. We shall continue pouring these things on our crops, on our bananas. And the goats, yes, when they come and they are very hungry, they will give a bite. But that bite will be one and the last one. They will not continue biting. You'll, you can see for myself here, this apple, it is bringing new leaves and they are indeed growing. So subscribe to my channel. Today we are not mixing manure, but we are mixing um, a pesticide kind of to control the stubborn pests like the goats of semi-arid area. Semi-arid area farmers tend to have uh, a lot of animals, the goats, the sheep, the cows, but many of them cannot take care of them the way they should. So in the dry season like this, they leave them to move freely. So I'm here to give you the cheapest. Please subscribe because of the cheapest. The easiest because this thing has taken you just 20 minutes and we are there good to go. So subscribe to my channel. Keep farming. Ah, the Bible says, whoever needs wisdom, ask for it from God. So God gave me the idea. I decided to share it with you. Keep farming. No food, no life. Keep farming. Subscribe to my channel. And may the good Lord bless you all. See you again.